السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Our brothers and sisters who will watch this on our YouTube channel this session before Fajr in the final days of month of Ramadan. But this topic is not restricted to Ramadan. I hope that you all will like, share, and subscribe this time. Channel uh, with the intention of self patch idea and uh, perpetual reward, but this topic is very, very important. The Sajis has been interested in this topic ever since I was a kid. Paradise and Hellfire, Day of Judgment. And I find, finally found some research that I'm going to share with you, inshallah. So kindly give me your undivided attention, inshallah. That's all we're done before five o'clock. Allahu billahi al-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hadhihi jahannam al-ladhi kuntum kuntum tu'adun. Sadaq Allahu al-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi Sayyidina Muhammad. اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم أجر من النار آمين هذه جهنم التي كنتم تعذون This is hell which you were promised so, uh, in the books of uh, fiqh, in, from Quran and Hadith, um, and I've taken this from a very fake, famous book in Urdu of Tadawa, uh, Umdad al Fiqah. And may Allah reward our sister who translated it into English, inshallah. May Allah reward her and her. Uh, family, so, hell is the place that reflects the extreme level of fury, rage, and severe punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is Ahar and Jabbar. Hell has seven levels, namely Jahannam, Raza, Khutama, Sabr, Sa'ir, Jaheem, and Habir. If a spark of the fire of hell was brought to earth, just that spark will destroy the entire earth and sky in moments. <coughs> If the creator of hell were to come upon earth, upon the earth, all inhabit, inhabitants of the earth would die just out of fear and terror caused by the horrific sight of them. The depth of hell is such that if a rock is thrown in it, it will travel continuously for 70 years before it reaches its point. 70 years. We used to hear as a kid from Ulmai Karam. I remember when I used to go. So far. The least punishment of hellfire is shoes of fire will be put on the feet of a person due to which brain will boil. And he will think he is getting the worst punishment. Other punishments include houses of fire, floor of fire, and zakum to eat, pus to drink. Zakum to eat, pus to drink. Read those verses. SubhanAllah. 
water given to drink in hell will be so hot that when the water is brought close to a person, his skin or face will instantly melt off and fall into this water and when it will be put into the mouth, it will go through cutting his uh, internal body, uh, veins into many, many pieces which will flow out of private areas onto the feet of the person. You know how many spray we have put in the bathroom? So just, it doesn't smell bad. And how many times after Udu, I apply ether? You know? Wash our armpit. Of course, we don't take shower in it now, but wash our armpit. Apply deodorants. We don't spit. Smell bad. And just imagine the opposite side. People will be held, will be made to walk on their faces and stab with huge painful thorns and beaten with extremely heavy chains. You know, it's a divine crime not to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Akbar. There will be enormous scorpions and snakes who will bite again and and the pain from which bite will last for thousands of years. They will be there for eternity. It's time for us to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Get our acts straight. Get our religion seriously. SubhanAllah. The faces of people of hellfire will be horrifically disfigured. That is we are shown that face he would die of, of fright. The faces of people of hellfire will be horrifically disfigured. That is, if we are shown that face, we will die of fright. The bodies of people of hellfire will be made to grow huge so they can feel more pain. Keep, keep in mind, according to my research, it's a divine crime not to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the very purpose of our creation, to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if, if a person refuses to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is a penalty to be paid. So I would rather worship here on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'll go, I would rather go through the discomfort, apparent discomfort, and in reality it's not of comfort. When we wake up and we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In reality it's not of comfort. Apparently seems discomfort. Anyway, let's continue. Allah. So, the severity of punishment will not be constant but continuously increase many fold with each passing moment. The frustration, you know, uh, I'll come to it. I think I should, I should have some time. The people of hellfire will, will ask for death. Not. To get away from such atrocious painful punishment. But there will be no death. Now, I'll revisit it that some more people come. Um, I was concerned that we were going to run out of time. Okay. All right. Now, um, the 
day of judgment, Yom Al-Qiyamah has been mentioned at least 70 times in Holy Quran. Then Al-Qariya, al Quran had, and day of judgment has been mentioned so many other ways, so many other words have been used to describe the day of judgment. Malik, Maliki, Yom Din. Yom Tawana. Right? The Father said, yes. Yom Tawana. Okay, so day of judgment. On day of judgment, the sequence that I have in front of me, and I'll probably uh, in about a few minutes, there's some more words coming, inshallah. The, um, so, on the day of judgment, we'll be raised, and we will stand, and we'll stand probably for a thousand years, one thousand years, and then people will recognize Adam as and at that time, they will be boiling up to 70 yards. Their sweat will go down and come back. And they will, it will, they will be, the sweat will be boiling. And they will be in that sweat up to their knees and up to their throat. And pious people, the sweat will be underneath their then they will recognize Adam and we know the Mashur Hadith. They will go to Nuh Ibrahim and Musa and Isa and their answer will be Ummah Nafsi Nafsi. And then eventually the entire humanity will go towards Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who is Khatma Nabiyyin. Now, and then the day of judgment will start, the accountability will start. And accountability, the sequence that this Ajis has understood through my research, first is going to be Allah. Uh, we will be asked about five daily prayers, Zakat, Ramadan, and Hajj. And then, after that, we will get our records of deeds. And then, will be Hukukul So that Mashur Hadith, when uh, Prophet Sassam asked people, uh, said that if a, a person will be, will come be Salatim wa Siyami wa Zakat, with his daily prayers, with his fasting and his zakat. And he, subhanAllah, uh, he, number one, he accused him. Number two, he did the backbiting. Number three, he uh, killed someone. Then he killed, got someone as well confiscated someone's wealth and he cursed them. These are the five things I remember from that place. So all these people will come. And then his good deeds will be given to them. And because he was so careless, in spite of his fasting and prayers and zakat, he was so careless about Hukukulibad that he will not have good deeds and their claims will remain. And there are plenty of other ahadis. Now, what will happen to these people? The people, the claimants will get their good deeds. And what will be left on their Nama Imam? On the records of good deeds. Just imagine. Then there will be Nizam, the scale. And on the scale they will just, and on the scale, it's my research, that on scale, 
For example, it's a cold wintry night and a Muslim is sleeping on a warm bed and around the songs of Salat al Fajr. It's not easy to get up, to sit in a cold car, and by the time you reach, reach it, the masjid is warmed up. Uh, they'll be warmed up anything in the masjid. The, or what we went through tonight, remember? We're all sleepy, right? We're done by, by, by 1 a.m., right? And the suhu started at 340, 3.45, right? So for almost two and a half hours, we were, we were all sleeping, yes? But we went through it, right? With the tafiq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This, a, a amal which is heavier on your nafs will be heavier on scale. I don't know if I've been able to get my message across. Just imagine. So next time, your alarm sounds or fighter, make sure you remember this. Then there will be a little bridge of Sirah. Bridge of Sirat. And it will be completely dark. And my teacher told me it was vertical. So, but my understanding is that the bridges normally are horizontal, right? Like this. But he said, it anyway, it will be sharper than here, uh, thinner than here, and sharper than sword. On that bridge of Sirat, people will have to travel towards there. And they will fall. And this is these are Muslims we're talking about. Non-Muslim, that's another issue. That's another, there are other details that I'm not touching it. But here are Muslims who will fall in hellfire. They will fall into hell. And there are different interpretations, there were different descriptions. Whether actually they will be into the hell or they will be in the vicinity of hell, Muslims. But nonetheless, there will not be any good condition. And what our guest speaker said, I just see text from him, I haven't read it, but uh, I'm gonna text him to please text me some material. And if he does, I'll, maybe the opportunity will arise and I can share it with you. He said the Muslim can stay in hell for many years. A Muslim who doesn't offer five daily prayers. A Muslim who commits a lot of sins. But she still has Iman. Then of course Shifa intersection of Sulullah will bring people out of hellfire. And to their Shifa. What Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam go through for his own heart. This recites not the name. Allah Sayyidina Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammad And then there will be a place called Antara. That's where all the uh, Ulamai Karam will be united. <laughs> you know people say Ulama are not united. That's where they will be united. Because all their hill, malice, boast is going to be taken out. And then they will enter into paradise. So let's revisit Hellfire again. And then we can, we can drive out of around 520. And hopefully some more people will come. Hell is a place that reflects the extreme level of fury, rage, and severe punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is Qahar and Qahar. Hell has seven levels, namely Jahannam is for Muslims. Laza, Hotama, Sabr, Sa'ir, Jaheen, and Habiya. And it has details who will go in. And Habiya will be one of the main at the bottom. If the spark of the fire of hell was brought to earth, just that spark will destroy the entire earth and the, and the sky in moments. SubhanAllah. 
if the creatures of hell were to come upon the earth, upon the earth, all inhabitants of earth would die just out of fear and terror caused, caused by the horrific sight of them. The depth of hellfire is such that if the rock is thrown, it will travel continuously for 70 years. The least punishment of hell is shoes of fire will be put to feet. And due to that, that person's brain will boil. And he thinks he is getting the worst punishment. Other punishment includes houses of fire, floor of fire, zakum to eat, pus to drink. People will get thirsty in hell fire. People will get hungry in hell fire. And what will be that verse is mentioned also in Surah Al-Kahf. وَإِن يَسْتَغِيسُ يُعَاسُ إِمَاءٍ كَمْنُونَ يَشْفِ الْوُجُوبِ بِئْسَ الشَّرَابِ وَصَعَدْ مُصَعَدْ وَصَعَدْ مُرْتَقَى Just a minute. Look at its translation of that verse when you have a chance. Water given to drink in hellfire will be so hot that when water is brought close to the person, his skin or face will instantly melt off and fall into water and then it will be put into the mouth. It will go through cutting the veins into many, many pieces which will flow out of private areas onto the feet of the person. People of hell will be made. People of hell. Uh, can you just, just go and come back for a few minutes? Please. Oh, please. Just, I would appreciate that. Just go and come back for a few minutes. So we can have all to pay attention to. It's very important. Jazakallah. for your. Understand. Okay. Let's continue. Yes. People of uh, will be held, will be made to walk on their faces and stab with huge painful, huge painful thorns and beaten with extremely heavy chains. The same thing will happen in graves as well. By the end. The Ahadis of the Surah al There will be enormous scorpions and snakes who will bite again, and the pain from each bite will last for thousands of years. What is that in Surah? This the torment will increase. There will be no, there will be no pain killers. And how far will be able to save us all? In my culture, it is discouraged not to talk about how far. And if someone does it, it's not deemed. Respectful. But in my opinion, we 
we should talk about in detail about paradise and hellfire. I think many, many Muslims' lives will change. That's my my undertaking. That's my humble understanding. I mean, I, I'm going to read it again, inshallah, and remind myself that if I don't feel Allah, it's a sunny. If I don't obey Allah and His Muslims or something, it's a sunny. Okay. The people of hellfire, their faces will, of, will be horrifically, horrifically disfigured. That is, if we are shown that face, we will die of fright. Forget the scary movies. They nothing from actual faces. The bodies of people of hell will be made to grow huge so they can feel more pain. Bodies of people of hellfire will be made to grow huge so they can feel more pain. The distance from one shoulder to other shoulder will be as much distance as speedy rider can ride continuously for three days straight. One tooth will be as Mount of Olives. The tongue will be about 14 miles long, 4 miles long, which will be hanging out and being trampled painfully. Hellfire is all about pain. The severity of punishment will not be constant, but will continuously increase many folds with each passing moment, this is for so, oh, this is my humble understanding, well, oh, oh, my Quran know that better, but it's my humble understanding as a student. For so, oh, for the Nazir that will be love. Taste it. The people of hell will be asked. <coughs> For death to get away from such atrocious, painful punishment, but there will be no death. So before I close, and hopefully it will be on you, our YouTube channel and it will help our YouTube brothers and sisters. Uh, it's my humble understanding, my brothers and my sisters, that not to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is a very big divine crime. It should not be downplayed that everything is a hukul abad and mazal ma mazal la hukul are not important. I don't think this is right. Yes, hukul abad are important, but the purpose of our creation is to worship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you find so many verses in the Quran. And I conclude uh, there are about five or six verses of Holy Quran in Holy Quran. Uh, the conversation of people of Hellfire, I think five or six. Uh, and the final conversation is one is mentioned in Surah Al Alif Lam, you said that they're going to help me. Rabbana Absarna. Rabbana Absarna, O our Lord, we have seen. Wasamina, we have heard. Farjina, Namal Sahiba. Send us back. Look at the cries of people of Alpha. Oh Lord, oh Rabb, send us back now. So we can do good deeds. And in Surah Al-Mu'minun, I believe that is the final call. 
in which they will say, Qalu Rabbana ghalabata alayna shikabatuna O our Rabb, our misfortune had overtaken us. Rabbana Qalu Rabbana ghalabata alayna shikabatuna wa kunna qawman dhaleen And we were people who went astray. Rabbana Akhrijna Minha Oh Rabb, take us out of here Fa'in Udna Fa'in Nazwalimun And if we transgress, we, we would be transgressors If we disobey But we'll be the response of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Qal Akhsaw Fiha Akhsaw in Arabic is to rebel it out Stay here, stay there. And the last one of the Lord said, Look, I, I sent prophets, I sent books, masajid came into existence. There were people, ulama, mashayr, salihin, practicing Islam, but you will not pay any attention. You're so busy in your lifestyle. So it's my understanding as a humble student not to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the biggest divine crime for which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for those who reject there is an eternity there is an eternity of hellfire and those who have iman will eventually give up will take it out and what Maulana Umar Sahib said back to this, please, you may want to make a note of it. He said, a Muslim can go into hellfire for a million years at your own risk. It's better that we become obedient servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala today and now. Jazakumullah khair for your time. Assalamu alaikum.